today, <clears throat> whilst it might look slightly informal at a minute and wasted up here and you're down there, we're going to try and make it that you get as much from us as possible. We've got great models supplied by the craft this morning. Um, so I try and do this day to day as if I were sitting where you guys are. So you want to see us doing it, you want to make sure that the people who are up here are credible are, are doing it. Matt, I'm 25, 26 years now into the industry. I think everybody associates me. If you think a wall, you think of me. If you think of me, you think a wall. I've as well just teaching you guys and showing you guys different techniques, um, what you can do with clippers, and the styles you can get. Another thing I'd just like to add as well, don't always just sit down, come up, interact, have a look at what we're doing as well. You know, it's best close up as well. You guys ready for it? <coughs> yeah. yeah. Tell me, would you approach Ellen's air with a flipper for the style I'm going to do? It'd all be scissors, wouldn't it? Yeah. So I'm going to show you how, over the last 14 years, I've developed a technique called peeling with a razor blade on my clipper. That's over to you. So I'm going to start from these sides. Let's just start getting this length where we want it to work. Are you ready, Els? Yeah. Oh, yeah, she's ready. Then. So the clipper's going to go in. Got nice tight tension. I'm just going to peel. Obviously, if you hold, if you imagine that is your blade, which is magnified about three or four times, if you hold your blade at an angle to the hair. Where's the shortest part going to be? The shortest part is going to be by here. Yeah? What that's going to be able to enable you to do is able to do your fade quickly and it cuts down on time basically. Then obviously you go back in and put a different attachment on depending on how short you want to take it. to the back I'm going to connect the two sides which I've actually cut short of. It's going to come up slightly a bit higher than his opposite full bone. I think over the years I think so would you agree with me is that a lot of like gent styling has come a long way now it's not just about giving a haircut. Guys want to be groomed they want to be styled as well so that's massive. I think barbering is more technical now than just average hairdressing. where most of you start. So once to get these and gather these sides in, which is so more easier. Make sure your hair's wet. Why do we make the air wet? That's on dry air. I think because we do it with clippers, especially when you come to do the texture, they think that we're showing off. It's not it's like that's how we do it. No getting out extra guys. Hairdressing now is a lot visual. 
You know, you want if you want texture in here, you can put just the texture just in the area. You know, it's not just about doing um, a, 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 so to speak a standard haircut. You can create where you want to put texture and movement. the layers where you want them to be, it's also the weight. So we left a little bit more length here, and took more length off that front section to balance the air cut up. Simon Sean, I'm Wall's European Artist Director. Here I'm at Fab, I've just completed a Divas and Dudes course with one of my colleagues, Five. He's the current Afro Stylist of the Year. I think this is about my 10th time now doing seminars here at Fab. It's a fantastic location and uh, we always enjoy being here. It's a great academy and it's a great wholesaler as well. Um, one of the things obviously from our point of view is training's a massive part of any barber, stylist, um, part of their training throughout their career in hairdressing. And uh, one of the things that we try to do is offer a wide range of courses here at Fab and also across the country. From the basics right through to the advanced stuff, from clipper design to divas and dudes to basic men's to funky men's. So if you want to come on a course then have a look on the Fab website and also on the Fab Facebook. <laughs>